What's good, good people? I'm Levi Peters, and this is Levi Explains on MI Gardener. And today we're talking about monocots versus dicots. Let's go. So monocots and dicots, essentially, you can put most plants into either category, whichever one they fall into. And there's so many differences between monocots and dicots, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over the few that actually we can visibly see. So when we're actually looking at plants, we can tell. So we're not gonna talk about the xylem and phloem differences and stuff like that, but the stuff that we can actually see for ourselves. So a monocot coming from the Greek word mono, which means only, and the cot is cotyledon, so it has only one cotyledon. Whereas a dicot coming from the Greek word dish, which means duo or dual, it has two cotyledons, so monocot and dicot. So a cotyledon is an embryonic leaf, and it's the first one that appears after a seed germinates. So a dicot has two of them, and a monocot only has one. Also, monocot flowers come in groups of threes for the petals, and in dicots, the petals come in groups of fours or fives. But probably the easiest way to differentiate between a monocot and a dicot are the leaves, and specifically the veins on the leaves. Dicots have very fibrous veins that actually look like human veins. They branch out all over the place, whereas monocots, they're vertical, they're straight. So if you have, let's say, for example, a maple leaf, or a beech leaf, but then you have things like grass and banana plants and palm trees where the leaves have straight veins going through them. Those are monocots. Also, something to note, monocots don't have real wood. Wood is purely on dicots. So palm trees aren't real trees. They don't have real bark or they don't have real woody tissue. So this is actually really important. So anything that looks like a tree, that's all branch and stuff like a cordelliny or a palm or anything of that nature, like a dragon plant, they may look like they're actual trees, but they're technically not because they don't have any woody tissue. And so why are these actual differences important? Well, for one, monocots don't have secondary growth. That's only available for dicots. So for example, if you chop off the branches of a fig tree, let's say, right, it will grow back and it'll put out more branches and such. So with a fig tree, I can grow it. And if it dies back in the winter, like my papa's fig tree, he's Sicilian, so duh, he's gonna have one. It dies back to the ground in the winter after a really hard winter, but you know what? The roots survive, so it can grow right back. Whereas a monocot, it's not the same. So a palm tree, for example, if you cut that trunk off, you kill the tree, it ain't growing back because the heart of a palm tree is actually in its crown. So in the winter, my palm trees, I have to actually protect them like on the top of the plant because if I don't and that part's really exposed to the winds and stuff, it has a way larger chance of dying and I gotta protect that even more than the roots. So that's just one of the examples why it's so important to know these certain things. And it will help you because if you see a plant and you're like, oh, I'd really like to grow that. It's kind of tree-like. Oh, let's look at the veins on the leaves. It's a monocot. So I know it won't have secondary growth. So yeah, that's just a great thing. Now you can actually go out and you can tell what is a monocot and what is a dicot. So a little trivia here before I leave is I'm gonna show a few plants and in the comment section, let me know which one is a monocot and which one is a dicot. Also, bonus points to whoever actually guesses what the actual plant is named. So one and then two, all right. Now another one, this one and this one. Which ones were monocots and which ones were dicots? I'd love to know. Put your answers in the comment section down below and I will see your beautiful faces very, very soon. All right, I'll see you guys later. Even though I'm a YouTuber, I feel on this channel even more like a YouTuber because of like the lighting and the atmosphere. I feel like a legit YouTuber now. Heck yeah.